Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to lock apps on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. So the first thing you need to know is in order to lock applications, we're going to be using a workaround known as the secure folder. So what does this do? Well, it creates duplicate versions of your applications and these duplicate versions require a passcode, pin, pattern, whatever lock you set in order for them to be open, which means by default, when you set up the secure folder, your regular applications will not require a passcode. What you need to do is you need to sign out of any account. So let's say I want to look the banking application in this tutorial. My regular banking app, I need to sign out of. However, the duplicate app inside of the secure folder, I need to sign into that version. And that version can only be accessed with the passcode, the PIN, whatever you set, which means if someone has access to your phone, the only way to get access to your banking apps is with the secure folder, which is locked with your passcode, pin, etc. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. I'll walk uh, you through the full uh, process. So let's get started. So first of all, you just want to open up settings. You want to scroll down until you see biometrics and security. Then you should see right here, secure folder, tap on this one. Now, for, uh, when you tap on this for the very first time, you will be asked to uh, enter in your Samsung account. If you don't have one, you will have to make one. I had to make one uh, just for this video because I don't really see the point with it, uh, to be honest, when I use the Play Store. But once you've done this, just tap on Create Secure Folder and then you should be brought to this settings field right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a pattern and I'm gonna use this pattern. This is uh, the pattern I used for my uh, very first Android phone. I can still remember it to this day. And once you confirm this, you should be brought to the secure folder settings. Now, what I want you to do, just go to the home screen. And now you can see right here in the applications, we have secure folder. Tap on this one plus, and now you can add whichever app you want to be put into the secure folder. So let's say, um, you know, I have important emails and I only want people with a passcode, which I set uh, to access them. We can just tap on the Gmail app, add, and you can see Gmail is now in a secure folder. Now, remember guys, this application is a duplicate app, which means you need to sign into the uh, duplicate app inside of the secure folder and sign out of the regular app onto your device. So the regular app, you should just be able to access in the applications view. So we'll go Google, Gmail, and you should be able to see, you can see uh, my emails and I'm signed in, all that good stuff. However, Right. If I just go to the secure folder, Gmail, you can see there is no app data in this version, right? Which means you would sign out of all your accounts on this version and then you'd sign in to your accounts in the secure folder version, which means only people who have access to the passcode in the secure folder can have access to your emails. So that's just an example. You could do the same with the banking applications. So the regular version, you sign out of the version in the secure folder, you sign into and then you're good to go. Now the secure folder you can see, after I've opened it once, it just lets me open up every single time. How do you change that? Well, open up the secure folder, triple lines, settings, and then you just wanna find auto lock secure folder, and you can change this to each time I leave an app. And what this will do is, let's say I open up Gmail, close out of it, go back into the secure folder, and boom, you can see it's gonna ask for my pattern, and this will happen every single time. That's more secure, it's really up to you what you do. So hopefully this uh, video helped you out. If it didn't, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. I haven't really seen a good tutorial on this, so hopefully this is that tutorial needed. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye-bye.